All right, Jackie, when you went down in Texas A&M, everyone just seemed to feel feel the pain that you were having. Uh, what was going through your head when you came back to the bench for the second half of that game? Um, I think probably just disbelief, you know, and um, heartache and uh, so many different emotions. I was sad. I was, you know, just trying to think about my future and what was I going to do next and just kind of things that I probably shouldn't have, you know, been thinking right, you know, within the span of a second half of a basketball game, but um, just incredibly, you know, disappointed and uh, just very, very sad. But, um, I, I, you know, I, I stood back up and went out to the bench and I sat and watched my team um, and it was unbelievable how hard they were playing and how well everyone was playing and, um, you know, it was very, it was, it was a huge relief to see them and see how, you know, incredibly hard they were playing. What are the next steps for you? Um, the next steps for me are, um, I got my MRI back yesterday. Um, so I had, you know, I tore my left ACL completely again. Um, and I talked to um, a USC physician this morning and we're probably going to schedule my surgery around January-ish, January 1st to the, um, in between January 1st and January 10th. Um, so just kind of, we haven't set an exact date yet, but somewhere around that time. Um, you're getting good at going through this process. A lot of people didn't think you are going to come back after two or three. What's, what are your goals now? Are they the same? Uh, yeah. You know, it's, um, I've only had a couple of days to kind of ponder this thought and, you know, just kind of reflect, but, um, I'm 23 years old and I can't see myself putting the basketball down yet. I, uh, it's just a part of me. It's just, I don't want to say it's who I am, but it's, you know, a very huge part of my life and I just don't foresee myself, you know, stopping and never playing basketball again and never, you know, doing what I do, doing what I love to do. Um, I just, I kind of want to play it by ear and take it day by day and, um, just for myself, get, get me healthy again for me and my life and, you know, take it from there. And, um, I think that even though it may not seem like it right now, I think that I am supposed to play basketball for a long time. So I am just, you know, going to take it day by day. How have you been able to kind of keep your head up through all of this and stay focused on, on those goals? Um, it's been very, very hard. I think, um, I'm not as positive as I would like to be yet. Um, I am still in that drought right now of just disbelief and, you know, very sad, but, um, I think, I, you know, I will pull my head above water and definitely get back to that mentality where I just, all I want to do is fight to get back to play the game I love. And I, and I, I, I get flashes of that, you know, even today and yesterday through all the sadness and, everything else um but yeah so there's definitely been outpouring of support you know within USC and and outside do you have any messages for your fans or how important has that support been um it's been incredible I you know I can't you know thank people enough for the kind words and um you know the inspirational things that they have to say to me it's it's just it's amazing to see how many people have rallied behind me and um, you know, and it's, and it's incredible to see how many, you know, hearts I've, I've touched and, um, I, I, you know, I want to, I want to show everyone that I still can do it, you know, and I, and I, I'm going to fight for what I love and, um, you know, I just, I, I thank everyone so much. You've been at USC for six years now, going to get your master's. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk a little about, a bit about playing at USC and being here. Um, I mean, the experience has been incredible. Um, the six years that I've gotten to be here will be a huge part of my life. Um, I, yeah, like you said, I got my master's, you know, with the six years that I've been here, which has just been the most positive thing uh, throughout this entire experience. But, um, I mean, I, I think I've got to play 40 games or so around that number um, throughout the six years I was here. But those 40 games, you know, I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. And it wasn't as much as I would have, you know, thought it would have been, but, um, it's what I got, and it's, you know, I cherish that, and I couldn't be any, any happier that I was able to play a full year last year, and, um, yeah, so, I'm, it's incredible. 
in six years, your Trojan family is definitely a large one. It's branched into yes. a lot of different teammates. Yeah. Um, any <clears throat> thoughts on those teams that you yeah, see? Yeah, I mean, it started right. off with Camille Lenore and Jamie Hagia and Shay Murphy, you know, and then Nadia Parker, Chloe Craig, the list goes on. And, um, you know, now here I am with, with freshmen, people that, you know, were just little kids when I first came into USC and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible, but I, um, I cherish every team that I've, I've been a part of throughout these last six years and, you know, I couldn't pick a favorite. Everyone, everyone has been amazing and it's just been the greatest experience.